A quick check now of some of the other stories that we're tracking from across the country and the world. India has recorded over 53,000 fresh cases of coronavirus in the last 24 hours. The death toll rose to 650 by 650 today. India has now reached a total of 7 million recoveries. About 1 million recoveries have been recorded in the past 13 days alone. After getting clearance for phase three trials, the Hyderabad vaccine maker Bharat Biotech has claimed that its vaccine for COVID-19 is all set for launch in June 2021. Bharat Biotech's vaccine is called Covaxin, will be tested across 19 sites and on over 20,000 people. The doctor's strike in Delhi has entered the 19th day. Their salaries have been stalled for over three months and they say that they are tired of raising the same issue with no resolution in sight. Recently, the MCD released salaries only for a month of July. The DMK is holding a massive protest outside Tamil Nadu governor's house over the delay in the Nord for Medical Quota bill. The bill in question pushes for 7.5% reservation for government school students in medical colleges, hitting out at the AIA DMK for not applying pressure on the governor. Party chief MK Stalin said that the EPS-led government was betraying the people of Tamil Nadu. A popular retail store in Salem was sealed after huge crowds gathered at the store breaking all COVID protocols. All social distancing norms were violated the retail shop. The reason why the retail outlet attracted huge crowds was because the store was selling clothes at huge discounts during the festive season. Top intelligence sources tell CNN News 18 that Pakistan is already devising a new strategy to remain in the game of terrorism. The main deniability that they've come out with the idea of using Chinese drones to carry out attacks that can be claimed by local outfits. Now these drones are using heavy weights or weapons including AK-47 and other weapons. While Calcutta High Court's order has refrained the public from entering Pandals, Trinamool MP and actress Nusra Jan visited the Suruchi Sangha Durga Puja Pandal in Kolkata, offering prayers to Goddess Durga on the occasion of Mahashtami. She also danced and played dhaks with the organizers. This will be the first time in many years that the Bhog at Durga Puja Pandals will not be served under inside the pandals in fact instead pujo pandals at delhi's cr park is packing the bhog and delivering it to homes by e rickshaws or designated bhog delivery vans the service has been introduced as people were barred from entering pandals A horrifying incident of rape and murder of a six-year minor at Punjab's Hoshiarpur district has shaken the state to the core. Amit Malviya, BJP's IT cell, tweeted on the incident and Union Minister Nirmala Sitharaman joined the chorus to slam the opposition leaders for selective outrage. Residents of In this matter, a six-year old child of a migrant laborer from Bihar, Dalit, is raped, is killed, body half burnt and it doesn't shake the conscious of the brother and sister pair who rush to every other chosen site which they think can help them politically. Rape should not be politicized. People of Delhi NCR woke up to very poor air quality today. In some areas, the AQI deteriorated to the severe category and was above the 400 mark in most places. Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yadirappa announced that water logging occurred in Hoskara Halli area after rainfall yesterday because of poor drainage system there and 25,000 rupees will be given as compensation to each house that has got damaged because of the heavy rainfall. Earlier, State Minister R. Ashok also visited the rain affected areas and said that uh, rescue operations are on. With that, we're